One of the big selling points I hear people say about DWM is the master stack layout. So one big master node and then a stack of smaller nodes off to the side. But what if I told you there was a way to add this into BSPWM? So as you can see, that's what I'm running right now. And this right here, this is clearly a master stack. So the way we're doing this is with a little script called BSP layout, which basically forces BSPWM to tile in a specific way. Now, the nice thing about BSP layout is it doesn't go and force the layout onto every desktop. So this one right here might be running master stack. But if I go over to my second desktop, this is still tiling the exact same way BSPWM normally does. So I could have master stack on one desktop, regular tiling on another one. I could have the even tiling on another one. Basically, it lets me do exactly what I want it to do. Obviously, if you want everything to be a master stack, you can iterate over every single one of your desktops and apply it to all of them. Now, master stack isn't the only layout available, but if we want to run that one in particular, what we do is run bsp-layout and then set. Now, after this, we have to include the name of the layout we want to use. So in the case of master stack, it's going to be called tool. Don't ask why it's called tool. That's just the name they went with. So... After this, if we don't include the name of the desktop, it's just going to run it on the current desktop we're on. So if we want to go, say, run it on desktop three, we just include that name. Now, this goes by the name that you've specified inside of BSPWM. So if you've called it something like web browser or programming or game, whatever you've called it, you go by that name. But in my case, all of my desktops are numbered. So if we just run this like this, as we're going to see on desktop three, it's now set to master stack. But the master node isn't the same size we saw before. And that's because by default, it's set to a different size. So the way that we go and configure that is by passing in the dash dash master dash size option. And this takes in a number from 0 to 1. So 0 0.5 being 50%, 0 0.3 being 30%, so on and so forth. So let's set this to 0 0.3 and go over to the second desktop. And as we're going to see, now the master node is much smaller. So one thing to keep in mind with this is if you actually do change the master size, sometimes it won't automatically go and update the layout until you spawn another window. So just keep that in mind. It's not like it's broken. It just doesn't always update it straight away. Now, most of the other layouts we have are master stack, but done in a slightly different way. So if we go run the last command again, but this time switch it over to the wide version, wide is basically master stack with the stack being along the bottom. So I'll show you what I mean. If we go and run that, spawn another window, as we can see, Basically, this is the master node here, and then this is the stack along the bottom. So if we spawn new windows, as we can see, it's spawning like you'd expect them to. Now, one thing you might be concerned about is navigating through these windows. So BSPWM doesn't navigate the exact same way as DWM, but in this case, it actually works perfectly fine. So if I press super J, that's going to take me to the window below. So in this case, it's going to take me into the stack. And then if I press super L and super H, that's going to navigate me right and left. And this is working exactly as you'd expect it to. And then I can press super K and it's going to take me back to the master node. And the same thing happens over on the other master stack as well. So if I go and press super L, that's going to take me into the stack. If I go and press super J and super K, that's going to navigate me up and down. So if you're not using Vim, those are the Vim movement keys and they map exactly the way I'd expect it to. So if you're instead using arrow keys, then just insert the direction you'd expect to be there. Now, as we'd expect, the master size layout still works with the wide option. It actually works with all of the different master stack variants. So speaking of variants, the next one we have is a reversed version of the tool layout. So basically the stack is going to be on the other side. So if we want to run that one, that is just going to be our tool. So if we go to desktop three and spawn some windows, basically the stack is now on the left side. So if that's how you prefer the stack to be, then that's how you'd go and do that. Now, we also have a reverse version of the wide version as well. So if we do basically R wide, as we're going to see, now basically the stack is along the top. There's not really much to say about variants of master stack. Once you have one sort of master stack, they basically all behave in the same way. Now, the next one we have isn't actually a master stack layout. So if we instead go and run the even layout, basically what that's going to do is make sure that all of the nodes are always the same size. So if we spawn two windows, nothing really happens here, but let's spawn a third one. As we can see, this window here, this window here, and this window here are all the exact same size. So let's go and split off of this one here. And as we can see, now we have sort of a grid layout, spawn another one, and everything has to change again because it has to make all the windows the exact same size. So this is a bit of a weird layout. Personally, I find it a bit distracting, but maybe this is how you want to work.
Now, there's not really much point showing the last two layouts because those are tiled and monocle. Basically, the built-in layouts in BSPWM, but you don't have to go and switch to those to go and disable a layout. So the way that we remove a layout is very simple. What we do is run BSP layout remove, and then if you don't give it a name, it's going to run it on the current desktop. If you pass in the name, though, it will remove the layout on that desktop. So if we run it on three, as you can see, the windows don't change, and that's because it doesn't actually go and modify the layout that's there, but every window we spawn from this point is just going to spawn the way that BSPWM would normally tile. On that note, if you want to force a specific layout and then go back to the regular tiling, what we can do is run BSP-layout once, and then the name of the layout we want to use. Now, I did actually notice a bit of a bug with this, so let's just go and run it on the current desktop. Let's go and force, say, the even layout, and that works perfectly fine. But let's try and, for example, run it on a different desktop. So I've got some windows over here. Let's try and run BSP-layout once and then tool on desktop three. And as we're going to see, it modified this desktop for some reason. I'm not really sure why it did that. But desktop three hasn't been modified. So my recommendation is if you're ever going to use once, put it on a key binding and just run it when you're on that desktop. Every other time it seems to work just fine. It's just when you specify the desktop name, it might do weird things. We can also go and cycle through layouts as well. So the way we do that is with a BSP dash layout cycle. And if you don't specify a list, basically it's gonna cycle through every single one of the layouts. So right now it's tool wide, now it's tiled, now it's monocle, now it's uh, whatever this one is, now it's this other one, now it's this other one basically pretty straightforward but if we want to go and specify a list the way we do that is dash dash layouts and then a comma separated list of the ones we want to use so let's say tall and wide so let's take this out of floating now and run it again now we're in tall mode and run it again now we're in wide mode now if you ever forget which layout you're currently on you can go and run bsp dash layout and then get if you include the name, it'll get the layout for the specific desktop you're on. In this case, we're on the wide layout. One thing I did notice with this is if you don't include the desktop name, it doesn't seem to get it for the current desktop. I'm not sure which desktop this is trying to grab. And then if you ever forget which layouts actually exist, you can run BSP dash layout and then a layout. It will list all of them out. But I'd recommend going to the man page instead because this actually shows what all of them actually look like. So BSP layout, not layouts. And if we go down a bit, as we can see right here, we have tall, which is this master stack. We have wide, we have R tall, we have R wide, even, so on and so forth. Now, I don't know if it showed up in the video or not, but if you're constantly switching between layouts, something is going to break. So let's go and switch over to tall. And if we spawn a window, okay, it actually did modify it straight away that time. Let's go and switch over to wide. And... Okay, it is working now. Sometimes I notice that when I switch between tall and wide, it puts the wide stack on the left-hand side with a window next to one of the windows. So just keep in mind that sometimes it might break. If you're not switching between layouts and you just set them when you log in and just leave them like that, it seems to be basically rock solid though. Personally, I wouldn't want to switch them. I want to have something I'm comfortable with and then just keep working like that. But if that is something you want to do, then you might be forced to go and use something like DWM or just wait until the bugs get ironed out with this script. Originally, I was going to do a video on this a couple of months back, but when I first looked at it, it was really, really buggy. So since then, it has definitely improved. And if you do want to go and use this for yourself, I would recommend going and submitting issues about it. I'm probably going to be doing the same with some of those little things I've noticed during the video. Now, there is a tiny bit of configuration you can do. So if we go over to the GitHub, as we can see, there's going to be a config file located in your .config directory or wherever you've gone and put it, slash bsp layout slash layout rc and if you want to go see the default config it looks like this basically what you can do is set how big the master node is going to be so if you don't want to specify it every single time basically you can go and set this for the tall master node and this one for the wide master node and if you're an arch linux user you can go and install it from the aur but for anyone else there are install instructions on the github so i think this is a really cool idea now obviously it is still a bit buggy around the edges it still needs plenty of work but it is really cool that things like this are being made for bspwm obviously if you want a perfectly working master stack 
go and use DWM. But I like that BSPWM does expose such a powerful programming interface where you don't have to actually know C code to go and modify everything your window manager actually does. You can do everything like you normally would with your regular shell scripts. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. But before I go, I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Chris, Joachim, Donald, Corbinian, Andre, Nathan, Monster, Chico Bento, Joseph, Mitchell, Peter Lee, Road, Tony, Tushar, and all of my $2 patrons. If you want to go on support, I've worked them links down below to my Patreon, Subscribestar, LibrePay, all of that sort of stuff. I've got my podcast, Tech Over Tea, available basically anywhere you listen to podcasts. And then this channel is available on Odyssey, Library, and BitChute if you want to watch on a platform that isn't YouTube. I just bumped my mic. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out. <laughs>